From Atlanta to the world, a view like no other, the Christian view. Your host, Dr. Trudy Simmons, with co-hosts Aisha smith Dancy, Sandra O'Neill, Dr. Lee Adams, Trudy Davies-Davis, Monica Matthews, Isaac Hernandez, and Caitlin Bryan. Empowering and inspiring, the Christian view. Welcome to The Christian View. What a great audience we have today. Thank you all for being here and thank you for watching at home. This is The Christian View. We take today's hot topics and weigh it against God's Word because God does have a view. Um, joining me around the table today, I have Trudy Davis. I have Pastor Lee Adams, Aisha Danzi, and Caitlin Bryan. So thank you all for being here. Check out their ministries. They're doing great things for the kingdom in addition to pouring into The Christian View. Um, I wanted to let you know that you can find us on all podcast platforms, The Christian View, and and um, you can watch us on YouTube, so don't forget to check that out as well. Well, today's hot topic is one of my favorites, um, Pastor Lee, and it's the gifts and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You know, I love talking about the Holy Spirit. I think it is such an important topic, yet not talked about enough. The Holy Spirit is talked about from Genesis through Revelation, and, he's, and, his, and his gifts are talked about. And his gifts are meant for us um, to conquer darkness, don't you yes. think? So let's talk about what these gifts are. Are they for everyone? And let's talk a little bit, touch about the Holy Spirit and what His role in the Christian life is. Yeah. Well, first, I believe the gifts are their ministry aids that God has put in place um, to assist with developing the church and for perf perfecting the body of Christ. Um, they're, they're available for everyone. However, everyone may not have every gift right. or everyone may not operate in every gift. Some people may um, be gifted to do certain certain things at certain times, then at others they may not. Um, a few of the gifts are gifts of faith, and that's mm -hmm. one I believe that, you know, that I possess um, to get the faith to really just be able to believe God in dire um, straits, even when everybody else is shaken, but yet to still believe that God's going to come through um, the gift of administration right. um, to be able to do those administrative tasks that help to um, further along the kingdom and the gospel of Christ. There's the gift of exhortation. Um, then we have you know, the gift of discernment. Mm -hmm. There are a variety of gifts. And what I found that, you know, even in the area of ministry, you have gifts where you got teaching, you got right. preaching, you have the evangelism, you have the apostle, you have the prophet, all these varying gifts. But yet all of them, they all complement and work together right. for the perfecting of the body of Christ. Right. Yeah. And do you think, Caitlin, that, okay, so say you have the gift of teaching or healing, can mm -hmm. you, can, can the gifts switch? Can you change, can the gifts change at any given time? I think that once you have a gift, mm -hmm. that it stays with you. But I do think that God gives you more gifts as you go along. Right. It really makes me think of the parable of the talents, mm -hmm. where he said, you've been faithful with this gift. You know, maybe your gift is hospitality and you've been so faithful with it. God wants to give you another gift. And so I don't necessarily think they change, right. but they evolve. But I do think that God gives you more right. gifts yes. as you go along. Now, he's not going to give you every gift because that's why the value of the body of Christ right. is yes. there because everybody has their different gifts. But I do feel that once you're born with something, you know, the Bible says the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance, without repentance. meaning that regardless of what you do in this life, God's gifted you with these spiritual gifts and you have them. That's why so often we see celebrities and we're so intrigued by, you know, how they sing. A lot of times God gave them a gift to right. sing and they used it for a different thing. But that gift doesn't go away. Right. And so I don't think they go away. I think, but we can add we can onto add them on if we are us. faithful yeah. with what we're right. given. That's a good, I, good point. I think that the most important thing is to remember that the gifts are for edifying yes. the church. Yes. Yeah. So, you, so whatever God gives us, it's meant to be used for His glory and to make the body of Christ more effective exactly. in the world. Right. So, and I think it's so important to, to take the spiritual gifts test and mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So, see, I never thought that you got different ones because I felt like I have no gift of hospitality. It doesn't matter how much I, when I say hospitality, like, you know, <laughs> don't want me to cook for you, right. but mm -hmm. I'll come and ex I'll give you exhortation. I have the gift of healing. I have the gift of faith, but you know what I mean? So I didn't know. I've never heard that philosophy right. that mm -hmm. they come in and out. I do know that the more, you know, submitted you are to Christ, the greater your gift right. becomes, mm -hmm. but that's kind of a different spin on it than I'd ever heard. Mm -hmm. Right. I do think it 
okay, let's just say you needed to have the gift of hospitality at that point. I think God would yes. grace you yes. with yes. the yes. gift of uh -huh. with, with that mm -hmm. with that gift at yeah. that moment. Uh -huh. You know, you hear about women who lift cars yeah. off of their yes. their babies, and I think the Lord has anointed them with the grace of strength mm -hmm. to, yes. to at that time, sure. and then that might, that gift may may go away. But I do think that some gifts God will give you. Okay, you need this right here and now. Yeah. So therefore, He's going to impart. To that you that right. gift and it may mm -hmm. you know it may show up later down the road or it may never show up again right. but I think we do like you said we need to be open to whatever God wants to impart in yeah. us mm -hmm. at any given any given time yeah mm -hmm. and we have to examine our own gifts like we have to take the time to get to know ourselves it's almost yeah. like soul searching right. in yeah. a sense to know what your gifts truly are and not to compare ourselves with other people I think right. that's a big thing in the body of Christ well gosh yeah. I wish yeah. I could have that Speak gift or that, that gift and, and, right, yeah right yeah. yeah and I think that's a tool of the enemy to keep us yeah. from developing our gifts even stronger because we're or yeah. comparison. Just know well, yeah. that all these gifts are so important. Like, uh, you know, um, the Bible talks about, you know, if you, for example, if you lose your arm or something like mm -hmm. that, we need every part yes. of this. Yes. Every right. gift fits yes. together for the body of Christ. Right. And that's why we need the older men and women in the church right. to really take people under their wings to guide them because spiritual gifts is something so powerful, yeah. mm -hmm. but we need people to guide them and say, you know, I see this in you yeah. because so many new Christians come in, no matter how old they are. And they're saying, what spiritual gifts? I don't mm -hmm. even know. And that's why being in church, which yeah. we had another episode, right, about, right. being in church is powerful because you can connect with people who can call out those gifts in you. Yeah. And you right. can use your gifts in the church. Yeah, exactly. Use your church yes. gifts while you're in the church. And, and, out, and of the church. Right. Yes. out of the church. Right. Out of the church as well. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's so important. And I want to touch a little bit. We're going to go on a commercial break. We'll be right back. Well, I want to talk a little bit about the Holy Spirit when we come back. Yes. Stay with us. We're talking about the spiritual gifts here on The Christian View. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to The Christian View. We're talking today about the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We talked a little bit about Holy Spirit and how he's brought in in the first of Genesis, and he's talked all yes. the way through the book of Revelations. But let's just talk about what his role is, Pastor Lee. What is the, the, the purpose of the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit is here to help teach us and um, guide us. So even with these gifts and as we're developing our gifts, the Spirit will actually help us into perfecting the gift that God has given us. It's the empowerment or the divine enablement of God that breathes upon us during a human experience, but yet it's coming forth from a spiritual perspective. So even in myself, as I decrease in my flesh mm -hmm. of Lee Adams, the Holy Spirit increases yes. in me and the Holy Spirit, if I let myself go, the Holy Holy Spirit will do the work that God wants to get right. done in me mm -hmm. so that God is truly glorified and not my flesh, you know, mm -hmm. because my flesh might have said, I don't want to be hospitable. Mm -hmm. But right. at that moment, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. needed to use the gift of hospitality within me mm -hmm. and perfect it. And it breathes on me mm -hmm. and it inspires me to move forward. And I think that is more of we learn how to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and allow the Spirit to truly lead us. Mm -hmm. And first, you know, we got to receive it and be baptized with it right. and receive the Holy Spirit in our life, but it will lead us and it will guide us and teach us how to really be um, that advocate that God needs in the earth. Right. Amen. I love that. I love the Holy Spirit. I love yes. that it gives yes. us the gift mm -hmm. of discernment, the yes. gift of, he's our yes. comforter, he's our yes. guide, our you helper. know, but he's our helper. He, yeah. you know, he's so many things Absolutely. for us and to us, you know, but there's a lot of false teaching out there mm -hmm. oh, on yes. the Holy Spirit. There's yeah. a lot of false teaching on the gifts of the Spirit. So Aisha, how do we discern against the false teaching? Well, you know, the first thing you ask yourself is, uh, is it in scripture? And and what, whatever is being taught, can it be supported by scripture? And so you need to know the truth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, right now we know that we hear uh, false teaching where they mix in mm -hmm. the truth with false teaching, right. you know, and that's mixed heresy. And also just um, the perversion of the grace of God, you know. So mm -hmm. there's so many things that you have to look for when you're hearing someone teaching to you. Um, does that really line up with what God right. has said about your gift and what God has said about you and what the word says? Mm -hmm. And so in order to really... Uh, uh, that's all spiritual discernment. Right. In order to discern that, you need to know what the Word says. Mm -hmm. I think that's too where the Holy Spirit comes yeah. in yeah. to give us that you know, mm -hmm. is it a nagging feeling? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, is that coming from the Holy Spirit or, you yeah. know, what is going mm -hmm. on? He, he gives us that discernment. Yeah. And then sometimes we're like, what, what's making us uncomfortable? Right. Something doesn't sit well yeah. with us. And that is actually the Holy Spirit. So you just have to be in tune. You actually have to, the Holy Spirit has to become your friend. You right. have to mm -hmm. just feel comfortable and just uh, understand and hear and know that that is the Holy Spirit speaking to you when something mm -hmm. just doesn't sit well with you. It just makes you uncomfortable. Right. Right. And that's 
why the Holy Spirit will give you discernment like you're saying. Yeah. And then it, it also goes to the fact of we, in John 10, 27, it says, my sheep will know my voice. Yeah, yeah. And so I think that it's so important for us to really dig in and have that one-on-one -on -one time with God mm -hmm. because that helps us with discernment. You know, people in your life you're closest to, if somebody told you something that you're like, no, that's not their character. Like they would right, totally yes. never order that. They would totally never say that yeah. because you know their character, you're close with them. And I think that that's another way we can discern what's right and wrong mm -hmm. with God is by getting to know him on a right. daily basis. And when you know him, you know what doesn't align with his character. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship. Right. Exactly. It is about relationship. It's definitely about that. Mm -hmm. I think for clarity for our viewers is so, for instance, when you mm -hmm. say, that there is a baptism of the Holy Spirit. There are yes. denominations that are definitely Bible believing, but that's not a part of that experience. Like you get baptized, right. mm -hmm. but you don't have a separate baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I, I understand that that comes from the scripture of Acts, but mm -hmm. so what does that look like for you all that have had that experience? I've been a Christian for a very long time, but that's just not been you know, something that's ever happened. So what are you speaking of when you say When the that? Holy Spirit comes upon you, the Bible says first is given to believers who ask for it. Mm -hmm. right. And as we ask for it, then it's the divine enablement of God. Mm -hmm. And one of the evidences of the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. When God mm -hmm. gives us the heavenly language, when we begin to speak in other tongues. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, when we really get into a situation for me, receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit came about, you know, just through me seeking after God. And it's not something so much like, you know, I don't want it to sound like people thinking like it's something we have to earn or some kind it's of a gift. Yeah, you it's a gift. Stand it's in a line gift. And no, get no, no, it no. Somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. You just receive the baptism of mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. And most time the Spirit of God, what we, what, what we find in the Old Testament, you had where the Spirit of God, it was inspired, meaning that all those acts, those mighty exploits, that Samson, David, and all those, mm -hmm. all those things that they've done, that was the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. at work on their life. Even now, when we move forth now, the Bible talks about since Jesus came, it moved into grace. Mm -hmm. Now the Spirit dwells in us. Right. Before right. it came upon us, now it can dwell in us. So and the Holy... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, it talks about when Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, he mm -hmm. spoke with boldness. Yes. He was able yes. to, you know, and I was talking to a girlfriend. She received the power of the Holy Spirit in her minivan, leaving the mall yes. one day. Mm -hmm. She was like, Lord, she just felt like she needed to stop and pray. And she prayed. And it was just this overtaking, this, mm -hmm. this, this beautiful empowerment that the, the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit just overtakes you. And, mm -hmm. and that you know that you've just had a personal experience with the Holy right. Spirit. Yeah. And, and you start to speak more with boldness. You start to, mm -hmm. things start to kind of change in your life a little bit more. You're more in tune with certain things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There there are a lot of denominations, mm -hmm. so there are powerful yes. that don't right. necessarily adhere to that as an event. Mm -hmm. Of right. course, yes. we always want to pray to the Holy Spirit, be filled with the Holy Spirit, but it's not like the separate event. So right. just yes. know for mm -hmm. our viewers, I know yeah. that there are a lot that don't see no, it that way. I, right. I think right. it's right. Mm -hmm. everyone's experience. It's, it's just, it's a relationship. It's, so it's, everyone's yeah. relationship exactly. is so exactly. different. And I know exactly what you're saying, because mm -hmm. if you don't have the gift of speaking in tongues, doesn't mean that you're any less mm -hmm. filled right. with the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. You know, it's just that's the gift mm -hmm. that you've been given mm -hmm. if you have that a bit capability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that is a very good point. Yeah, yeah. kind of a separation of those yeah. things. Exactly. Right, right. And we're all filled with the Holy Spirit yes. when we get saved, saved. and ask Absolutely. Jesus into mm -hmm. our heart. And it does. Without it, like we you couldn't said. get saved. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's our exactly. comforter. And yes. like you He's said, it's boldness. Right. It's the first thing. It gives us boldness mm -hmm. and strength. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We're having a great discussion. Stay with us. We'll be right back with a little bit more on the gifts and the power of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Christian View. We're having a great discussion today on the power and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, in John 14, 12, it says, greater works shall we do. And I really believe that, that, that God meant that. Greater works we will do um, if we're walking with Jesus. And we said it earlier it was a relationship. We've yeah. got to have that steadfast relationship with Jesus Christ. And everybody's relationship and everybody's experience with the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is completely different. And so we cannot look at upon our brothers and sisters and judge, well, their experience was like this. or their, I remember when my husband got 
got filled with the Holy Spirit. It was completely different than how I got filled with the Holy Spirit. And I, at first, I have to admit, I was a little jealous. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wait, uh, wait. And so, you know, I, but the Lord quickened my spirit. He said, you cannot, you cannot be jealous of yeah. how God chooses mm -hmm. to meet one person versus another yeah. person because each person mm -hmm. is individualized. Well said, I like yeah. Right. And yeah. so we just need to be mindful. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk about it. How do we experience it today? The gifts of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit using these gifts, yeah. you know, as Christians, we should be out there yeah. mm -hmm. experiencing right. it. Well, I think that the first point that you come to when it comes to the spiritual gifts is you have to have wisdom to know what your spiritual gifts are. Mm -hmm. I love what James 1 and 5 says. It says, if any of you lacks, ask, lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. I think we can ask God for wisdom on what our right. gifts are. And another, so that's step one, asking God for wisdom. And God is not up into hide and go seek. <laughs> Amen. God wants you to find your gifts. <laughs> right. He wants yes. you to operate in them. And so we can pray to God. He will give us signs. And uh, you know, many times I'll be like, God, can you just like give me a sign on what I need to do? And God will do that. Another thing is something Trudy mentioned earlier, which is spiritual gifts test. And mm -hmm. you can Google them and take mm -hmm. the test. We all like online quizzes. So you can Google the spiritual gifts test. And then I always say research. You can Google any scripture there is and say, okay, if your spiritual gifts test says, you know, I have the gift of generosity or the gift of hospitality, what is that? Right. And you can have more than one gift. Yeah. And how does it edify the body of Christ? Right, exactly. That's so important. Right, because the gifts are not for us. They're exactly. not for us. They are to yes. give to the body of Christ. And yeah. I think one thing to think about is, okay, you know what your gifts are now. It's time now to what do you do right. now. Now get out and, and, and start doing it. Go yeah. out and, and start serving. Go yeah. out and start laying hands yeah. on on the sick. Go out and start feeding the poor. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're not for us to keep to ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. John Revere says that the great that when we meet God, we're not going to be held accountable for what we do, but for what we did it not do right. with the gifts that we right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like having, it's like having a gift sitting in front of you and never opening oh, yeah. it, yeah. right? Yeah. And just letting it sit there and our candle that's never been lit or burned. Yeah. So we've got to take what God has given us. And that's how I think we experience it yeah. by getting out there right. and actually doing it. And then and, it grows. And also, right. you know, we talk about getting out there, whether you get involved in your church, but you also can look within your home, within your family, mm -hmm. yes. that yeah. you can, you can experience or, or explore your um, yeah. spiritual gifts just by looking at those around you, you know, um, within your own family. Are you helping them? Are you, are mm -hmm. you teaching them? Right. Or what are, what, how do you, mm -hmm. you know, show your gift through your relationship mm -hmm. within, with those that are right there around you? Right, mm -hmm. right. I think so. I think yeah. it's so true. And for a long time, I have to be honest, I was afraid to speak up about my gifts, yeah. you know, right. because right. sometimes it's a little scary to talk about yeah. well, what's your spiritual gift? Yeah. What's your spiritual yeah. gift? And, and how are you using your spiritual gifts? And then one day I started a street ministry going out on the streets yeah. and it just was an eye opener. I yeah. took my son with me. So it was a family yeah. experience, but just getting out there and yeah. taking yeah. your family with you, yeah. but really not being afraid. Cause I think Something that hinders uh -huh. is, it, mm -hmm. is doubt, fear, unbelief, yeah. fear of man. What is man going to think about? Yeah. Well, can I pray for you? Can I pray for healing over yeah. your body? Yeah. You know, is that going to offend? Yeah. But we can't be responsible no. for that. But yeah. your calling comes from those gifts. And right. are you saying that your spiritual gift is the gift of healing? One of my gifts yeah. is the gift of healing. Mine and so, yeah. you know, You're a counselor. I'm a nurse. Right. You know, so, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. And, I, and that's why we have to get in the church again, right. if you're yes. not doing it at home, mm -hmm. to make it a safe ground. I feel like it's this balance of, if you have a spiritual gift, you need to do it perfectly. Right. Oh, but gosh, as we right. learn something, mm -hmm. it's okay to fail. And we need yeah. more safe places mm -hmm. to fail and learn. Yes. Like if you have the gift of prophecy, right. you're probably gonna mess up on a few to yeah. start off right. with. Right. Or well, healing, right. everybody may not get healed to yeah. start. Todd White is an uh, evangelist uh -huh. and he went to Walmart and he prayed over a thousand people before he saw one healing. He kept saying, wow. God, I thought, uh -huh. I thought I was supposed to do this. I thought I was supposed to do this. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we're yeah. going gonna to fail, but yeah. we're going to get right. back up. And I think that's right. what the enemy wants. He wants you to yeah. be discouraged. Well, I tried praying yes. and, and they yeah. weren't healed, so I must not have that gift. Yeah. Or exactly. Well, you have to exercise that right. gift. And we know that when you are, it's just like being new into mm -hmm. Christ or being a baby in Christ. You know, over time, you develop that gift and it becomes stronger. Right. And I think that essentially mm -hmm. that's what you're saying. Yeah. You know, I know one of my gifts is just leadership. And I know mm -hmm. that from being an entrepreneur. But even right. in my family, you know, we talked earlier, I started a prayer line for my family. Mm -hmm. I do 
through all kinds of things and it's just I am that person that t steps up um, not only you know financially at times but also you know even spiritually to say okay family let's have a prayer line let's yeah, do this, right. this and God has blessed me with that you know with that um, that gift to to be bold enough to step up in a time that when we need to step up right no, I agree. Well, I think, too, we also have to keep in mind, too, that we have to allow the Holy Spirit to really reveal to us what is our gifted area. And if we're going forward and, you know, not saying that if we're not going to ever um, even work in our gifted area, we're not going to experience what would look like a failure. Because what I found out is sometimes that what looks like a failure is really a success yes. mm -hmm. in God. It mm -hmm. might have failed me because mm -hmm. I was expecting an outcome yeah. based mm -hmm. on what I was looking at right. in the natural context. But God had a different outcome in mind. Mm -hmm. So his will was still brought about, mm -hmm. even though what I was looking for didn't happen, God still wanted it to get done. Mm -hmm. So even as we're working and using these gifts, we must remember they're not ours right they're God yeah. so that we're doing what it is his will is for us that he wants to accomplish because I would love to go out and like he's the guy at Walmart lay hands on everybody <laughs> and everybody get away right. everybody I counsel like oh yeah that marriage got safe right but sometimes you know we have to realize that God has a different intent That's right it yeah. may just be in that counseling session for one person for the light bulb to come on and they become empowered in one aspect of their life that marriage may not work but it may Maybe that at the end they learn something about themselves I that know. they didn't know about themselves before and God was glorified even in that. Yeah, I mean I think when we try, God will be glorified. Yes. When yeah. we when we try, we may trip, we may fall, yeah. but God is always glorified in the end because Absolutely. we are we're, we're having our putting our faith in him. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it reminds me of the parable of the sower. So, it's some for some to sow. Some yes. to mm -hmm. till it and then some to reap the harvest. Yes. Right. So when we obey our gifts, mm -hmm. sometimes we're just planting seeds like Pastor yes. Lee was saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're doing some work. Yes. And right. Sometimes we're reaping a harvest yeah. from yes. a seed we sowed. And then when you get to heaven, yeah. mm -hmm. you'll 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 see, wow, yeah. that was that was yes. why that yeah. was why yeah. that happened and that was why that didn't happen. Yeah. God has the perfect plan. Right. He right. does. And a lot of times I think our gifts we we don't have to see them manifested in the exact way that it's Divine, yeah, right. It's yeah, still a good. gift. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back with a little bit more on the Holy Spirit and the spiritual gifts here on The Christian View. Welcome back to The Christian View. Thank you all for watching today. We've had a great discussion on the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. God wants you to walk in your gifts and walk in His authority. So. Get out your Bible, get in the Word, and find out what God says about who you are in Christ, and then walk it out in the name of Jesus. We love you, and we bless you, and we hope to see you next week here on The Christian View. Have a great day.